This machine is the Zeiss Humphrey Visual Fields. There's different models. There's a 740i, 750i. Um, we mostly do this for glaucoma. You can also do it for neurological reasons, if a patient has ptosis where the eyes droop or the lids droop, um, or for people who are on Plaquenil. So when you go to start, on the screen here, this top icon is the main menu. We'll do a 24-2 to fast. This is normally what we use for glaucoma. 30-2 is more for neurological issues. If they're on Plaquenil, there's a 10-2 Plaquenil. And if they have ptosis, we can click on the ptosis one. So we'll select the right eye first, and then we're gonna clear the patient data out of there. And we'll enter in a new patient's ID information. So we've got a patient name. We'll just enter the patient's name and information in here. Date of birth. And their trial lens. So we're gonna enter in here their distance prescription and it'll automatically tell us what lenses to use for their reading vision since they're, we'll be looking at these lights in the machine that are close up. So in the sphere, we can put whatever we want. We'll put in a plus one and a minus one at 180 degrees. So based on the patient's age and their prescription, we're gonna hit calculate trial lens and it tells us what to use. So in this machine here, we're gonna first get all the lenses. So this is where our trial lenses are in here. We're gonna use a plus 50 lens. So the spherical lens will always go in the front part of the lens holder. I'm gonna use a plus seven five in here for her. And then just for training purposes, I'm gonna use the cylinder as well. So the cylinder lenses always have these lines in the lens that you can line up with the axis on the lens holder. So this we're gonna put behind. And we'll line this up at 180 degrees right there. So after that's all set up, we're going to hit proceed on the screen here. And we're going to give her an eye patch. So we're going to patch one eye at a time. Just so we can see how their peripheral vision is for each eye independently. And you can cover your left eye first. So we'll do the right eye. So always important to make sure that their patch is completely covering their eye, that they can't see anything out of the eye. And then they're going to start over on the left hand chin rest. So the chin will go down and forehead will go all the way full forward there. Now on our screen, we're going to line her up. So right now she's uh, not lined up. So these arrows here will just move these to get her centered now. Good. So you want that little cross in the center of her pupil, which it is right now. Okay, we're going to just close this door. We'll turn the lights off. Now, before I give her this clicker, I also want to make sure that this lens is close to the eye. So if the lens is too far from the eye, you'll get what's called a, a rim defect, an artifact. So when the, the lights flash in the background, they, they're going to miss those lights that are flashing where that rim is. So you want to bring this very close to the eye just before their lashes. And then we'll give her this clicker. So that's what she'll be clicking during the exam. So before we start, I always tell them the instructions. So they'll be looking at an orange light in the background. That's their fixation light. And during the test, they'll be seeing some small white flashing dots all around in the perimeter of that machine. Some lights are very bright, some are also very dim. And whenever they're sure that they're seeing those lights, they're gonna click that button. So before we start, we're gonna hit start, which will just measure their pupil. And it'll 
also track their eye movements. So I found her pupil, and then we'll hit continue. Now the test will start right now. So during the test, you want to just make sure that her eye is looking straight ahead at all times. She's not wandering around. So the first part it's looking for is her blind spot. In the right eye, it's going to be right about here. Left eye will be on the opposite side. And you also want to keep looking at this bottom screen here. So there's false negatives and fixation losses. The fixation losses can tell you how reliable or unreliable the test is. Anything two or more would be an unreliable test. When you see fixation losses on the screen, sometimes it can be from the patch not being covered. So basically when the left eye is patched, there will be lights appearing in that uh, visual field on the left hand side that they shouldn't be seeing. And if they are seeing them clicking that button, it'll give you a fixation loss. Or they could just be turned towards that left hand side on that chin rest. They're not perfectly aligned straight in. Um, and one more that happens is they just keep clicking that button too many times. So if you ever see a fixation loss, you wanna just pause the test, which you can pause here or they can hold that button down for two seconds or more. Um, and then just kind of look at their eye and see if the patch is covered, make sure that they're lined up properly, um, and then just go over the instructions again to only click if they're definitely seeing those lights. The false negatives, so if they click when a light appears, when it's very, very dim, and then later on in the exam, in that same spot, when a brighter light appears, and they don't click, it'll be, give you a false negative. So most likely, they click by accident when that dim light appeared and they didn't see it because they should be seeing that bright light. So these both should be zero or as close to zero as possible. This here is our tracking. So it tracks all the eye movements. So any sudden movements or shifts in the eyes or blinking, you'll get these little peaks in our tracking gaze right there. The numbers here are the light stimulus in decibels. And for each eye, you're gonna see one where there's zero. We're gonna save this test. But that zero right there is our the blind spot. So that's where the optic nerve lies. So we'll save the test first into the hard drive and then do the same thing for the left eye.